For attorney Joy White, being unapologetically black is a gift, but she realizes that it isn't without struggle and sacrifice. As a reinvention coach, she is the founder and CEO of Flawed Masterpiece, a resource that focuses on helping black women with healing, radical self-care, and unapologetic self-expression. And Joy joins us now to share more. Joy, hello. Thank you, thanks for having me. Flawed Masterpiece, this is your initiative. You are helping black women heal, take up space in, in a good way, self-care. What inspired this? Um, this brand and concept was inspired by my personal life journey. Um, I'm an attorney of 20 years now, um, have worked, I'm a mother, and um, at some point realized that I uh, was burnt out and had not really addressed some, some um, past trauma in my life. And so once I started doing that work, I realized that there were a lot of other black women like me that had similar experiences and wanted to offer that support to them. It's so needed. And I think also in addition to this being offered to black women, black men and just people in general can really benefit from what you've created. You said burnout. We all know burnout a little too well. What was burning you out? Was it the expectation as a black woman that you had to be a superwoman? Yes, and I think part of that was self-inflicted. So I think for Black women, there's an external expectation and then also an internal kind of internalized expectation. So the, the couple of those together, um, nothing's ever enough. There's no achievement that's enough. There's no title, no award, no accomplishment. Um, and we're not always realizing that like consciously. So part of the reason I'm trying to raise awareness around this is to the outside world, we may look like we're thriving and even to ourselves, we may also feel like this is what I've always wanted to do, but yet there's this feeling of unfulfillment, resentment um, that doesn't always have a name. And I'm sure you went along for years, just getting up and, and, and getting it done, knowing that something didn't feel right, something felt off. Was there one particular instance, because there always is, right? We know something's happening, Joy, right? But there's one thing or one day or someone says something to you or one event that triggers this change, which can be traumatic, but also can be very, very empowering. Was there one moment for you? For me, it was, and it was an odd moment for me. It was COVID. So I was the general counsel at Morehouse College at the time um, and was involved in making decisions about sending kids home, sending faculty home. And so once we got home, I realized the world is falling apart and I feel more at peace than I had felt for a long time. So I didn't know honestly that I was burnt out till I realized something's wrong here if I feel more relaxed at home with two teenage boys in the middle of a pandemic than I do in my normal day-to-day -day life. So when we <laughs> partake and we engage in a flawed masterpiece, what are we greeted with? What, what, what is that experience like for those who, who wanna go on that journey with you, Joy? Sure. So there's a number of ways. I mean, I do coaching and I do speaking um, in the one on one coaching. It depends on whether they want to do like a longer journey. Um, so there is a six month opportunity. There's a masterpiece day or it can be a one like one breakthrough session in either scenario. It's all about me helping them recognize um, where they may have some limiting beliefs or some burnout or it may just be that they want to go to the next level in their life. It may be a pivot because really what this has allowed me to do is pivot my life in a pretty substantial way. And so I work with my clients around helping them recognize what they're not seeing or maybe not recognizing on their own. When you work with people, Joy, and you see them have those breakthroughs, what does that say to you? What, what do you see in that? Me, I realized it's the most important work that I could ever do. I mean, it definitely took me a minute to be willing to share my personal story and to do this work. So where can we go to experience a flawed masterpiece? How can we get in contact with you? How can we how can we dive in and make sure. those changes for ourselves? Sure. So I'm on Instagram at, at Joy White. So it's my name, white, like the color, J-O-Y, white. And then I have a website, it's joywhite.me. And that site is kind of a hub for everything I do. So I still practice law. Um, I speak, I coach, I sell wellness and self-care products. So kind of everything I do is in that hub at joywhite.me. Joy, spreading the joy. And we love it. We love to see it. Joy White, thank you so much. Thank you, James.